Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Queen in Middle School for Life. Well, it is the 24th day of November. It is 3 hours and 30 minutes into the day. And uh, we're filming this transition vlog. I didn't think we'd get to do this, but uh, I'm feeling uh, just okay enough to do it. Anyways, I got the neck. Oops, sorry. Let me pull this out here. I got the neck, the neck massager, to work. So I'm happy for that. I'm happy about uh, uh, what it does. I tried it out. It's nice. It uses uh, you put. Uh, a little lotion on the back of your neck, and you put the the pads on the lotion for in terms of where you how you line the thing up. Uh, it fits my neck no problem, and it does a good job in terms of the massage. What I like about it is it does a type of massage that increases the circulation from the back of the ne neck into the head, and that's often the problem is that you have, a, a, and I have this as other people have it is that. There is an issue with circulation, the circulation of blood in the head, and this actually promotes uh, a better circulation than uh, than typical. So uh, that gives you a bit of uh, not only just relaxation, but it gives you a bit of uh, a sort of brain health, uh, if you will, because uh, your brain uh, needs the oxygen, it needs the food, it needs the materials for, that is, that are that's being transported in the blood, and so. Yay for that. Uh, I did just finished at the... Uh, well, I'm looking up to see what's next. I finished the entire YouTube stroll today. Uh, I'm and looking into the subtracts to see if there's anything less, if, if there's anything left. Uh, Carly was once again in uh, her uh, in our family nest. Uh, Allie wasn't in the vlogs, the Yowie vlogs at all. Uh, I, you know, it, it's, it's hard to... To when your channel is collapsing and you no longer have the views that you had before, and that means the checks are slowing down. The, the amount of checks you're getting is slowing down. It's hard to maintain the channel, uh, particularly when you have other things like uh, Disney Plus and and, and uh, the Nickelodeon Plus and other so other street other streaming services. Uh, it's difficult to keep the focus on YouTube. So. That's that's understandable, but the thing is that Kesley, you have uh, Kesley Jade and you have um, uh, uh, Carly uh, bringing in other uh, found other avenues of revenue by doing ads and doing other things like that, uh, promotions promotional work. Uh, so they found a source of income that will sort of boost the kid, and they. They bring enough of their own personality into the vlog, so uh, it's not just simply the ad. You sort of see the personality there as well. Uh, even though they do have, in addition to the ads, they have the uh, the ad videos. They actually have their own uh, uh, videos within it, in terms of their own content, their own thoughts and ideas, and they're able to uh, more or less survive. They're able to sort of adjust with the changes and. That's, for me, that's that's worthy of applause. Worthy of uh, uh, I always give them a thumbs up, thumbs up. And anyways, uh, I think that's going to be it. It's time to transition to bed. I can barely keep my eyes open. That's why I'm transitioning now. Is that the uh, I'm too tired to continue on any further. So this is it for uh, this period. And I have deliveries in the morning. I got a food delivery from. Uh, one of the apps I use to go food shopping on, so uh, I've got food deliveries coming in tomorrow morning. All right, I'll uh, see you. Well, maybe after the delivery, let you know what what came in. Well, the uh, let me adjust this. There we go. Oh. I got my time and date stamp. It's uh. Three hours and twenty-four minutes into November twenty-fifth, or the fifth day of twenty twenty-fifth day of uh, November uh, two thousand twenty-one. Oh, I wasn't gonna vlog. I didn't vlog the transition. 
uh, out doing the observation. I didn't vlog the observation. I didn't do the Nosey's vlog. It is what happens that the I've been trying out that new uh, massager, and it does a really good job. And I've been I've been really loosey goosey the last uh, couple hours, and you know, not to sort to, of to do the vlog. It's difficult to do the vlog if you're not if you're nodding off and you're falling asleep while you're sitting up, like I'm doing now. It's extremely difficult to do the vlog because. You're partially asleep. You're not fully awake. So, uh, a large chunk of what's going on is occurring uh, somewhat in dream mode. It's uh, I am awake, but uh, I don't necessarily feel awake. Uh, if that kind of makes sense at all. But uh, anyways, this is kind of the way things go. I will sort of I did I I, I finished the uh, YouTube stroll very early today, and. Uh, I gotta sort of see what's uh, waiting for me tomorrow. There are certain things that I have to get done. Uh, there's a whole list of things that I have to get done. So we'll see uh, in terms of uh, the list how things uh, progress. But uh, I think that's neither here nor nor there right now. It's just a matter of uh, uh, going to bed. I just finished the whole uh, series of cartoons. So I did both the YouTube stroll and my cartoon watching. Well, I got all the various different odds and ends that sort of needed to get done, are done. So, uh, I will see you in the next transition vlog. No, not vlog section. Ne next transition. Well, it is 18 hours and 9 minutes into the 25th day of November. We are back once again. Uh... <laughs> My hair is its usual good style, you know. Glad to like to fix myself up with the camera. Well, <laughs> not really. Sar sarcasm. Uh, the days in which I sputter. Incidentally, we do have a package opening. That's what I'm doing now. Uh, are well, they're signi they're significant enough. These are replacement jacks. These are replacement jacks. I'm going to open up this one first. Because uh, there's two packages in here. They're both basically the same thing. Uh, but I just need the one now to test out here. And then the, the other one's going to go uh, in the front room and for other devices that need multiple uh, uh, ports. So, uh, here we go. This is it here. This is a four-point, a four-port, uh, USB dongle. That's what they call a dongle. Uh, let's do it this way. We're right side up. And so you've got the four here. These are f the three OTG in one, uh, micro USB charger. So, let's do this and try this out while we're here and see how this ends up working out. I'm going to have to cut this open. Let's do that now. And yay, it opened. Okay, so let's get our device that we want to charge. It's this one here. I'm going to use this one here. It's already plugged in. So, I will take the uh, charger out of its port. Plug it into here. So it's in there like that now. This is in the port. And I should have a charge. Should be able to charge. Let me see here. I gotta get this right. Let me get my flashlight out because I need to sort of see what's going on. As I said, the only light back here that's lighting the scene is uh, basically. Okay. 
get an idea how it goes, is the LED monitor that's behind here, and then I use processing to bring up the light level. So let's go into the port. And if the, ch the, the, the tablet lights up, we know that it works. Sometimes it's hard getting it aligned properly. So that it will go in. Here we go. We're in. It lights up. That means we do now have a, uh, a tablet that, that works. This dongle works. The other one when I had done that before, when I had plugged it in, it didn't work. And so now we do have uh, the power and four OTG ports. Yay for that. So, we know that the devices work. Sometimes things come in, they don't work. But then again, you're spending, like I spent, this was, uh, I think it was... Uh, for five ports, it was twenty dollars altogether. Uh, last one I spent was twelve dollars for the ports, that the ones that didn't work. So uh, happy with that. So in other words, as long as your discount stuff works and it gets the job done, there's no particular issue, and that means you're saving money. This is how you live on the edge. This is how you live a partially off-grid lifestyle. You know, can't go fully off-grid because you're in the city, but uh, or in a city that's you know, not necessarily in the core of the city, but sufficiently so that it's not uh, rural and it's not 100% uh, off grid. So, anyways, uh, I will see you at the next transition point. Well, it is uh, five hours and 22 minutes into the 26th day of November. It is Black Friday officially. That means on December 1st we'll begin Vlogmas. Other people have already begun Vlogmas, but uh, uh, I haven't yet. Uh, I'm sort of getting into the Christmas spirit, but uh, Christmas is a little different for me than uh, most of the people. So anyways, um, <laughs> I did my YouTube stroll. Uh, I'm now into... Uh, oh. The cartoons and the media library. I do have other stock of cartoons and so on and so forth that I can get at, get access to. So, uh, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> it's kind of what I do. Is you know, it's, as I'm doing work here, and I've just fixed up my uh, tablet so that the tablet can now operate with a, a number of different devices. The the device I got uh, this uh, earlier on today the four port uh, USB dongle uh, works very well it's it, it's the the tablet is maintaining its charge so that means everything's working fine the last time when I put in the three uh, did only the three point one the th three uh, uh, component one where you had uh, uh, two USB and uh, one uh, micro USB uh, charging port uh, that didn't work it, it, it Within a matter of 20 minutes, the uh, the the tablet had lost its charge and the battery was starting to go down. And this one has now kept its charge. It's fine. It's it's, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. So uh, that means I can put a uh, I can put actually uh, because I've got three USB ports on there, I can put in three different uh, 128. And, uh, 128 gigabyte uh, uh, flash drives and uh, operate them no problem. So this gives me a lot more uh, space on the tablets than I did before than I had before because now I've got the uh, USB uh, uh, flash drives that I can sort of add to the to to the tablet and sort of keep them there. Uh, so in other words, I got I have a number of. Uh, uh, memory options that I typically didn't have before. So this is uh, something that I enjoy. I think that it's, it's going to move things forward in terms of my notes and how I set things up. 
So there is going to be a bit of an upgrade over the uh, over the because we're coming into we're coming into the Christmas holiday. Uh, my Christmas holidays are from December to uh, February. So December first is when the Christmas holiday begins for me, and it ends uh, February first. And what the Christmas holidays mean for me is that that's when I reorganize my notes. I've already got a brought in a large chunk of notes. Uh, I haven't been I haven't been able to get outside the last few days uh, to do the uh, essays, but uh, I'm now in the process of reorganizing my notes, sort of pulling everything I've I've done uh, over the last uh, let's say two three months since, since about mid September, I'm pulling notes together and going to start reorganizing. So. This will be the next step forward, and it'll take me two months to go through my notes and step into the new uh, phase of things. Uh, I did some ordering in terms of uh, shopping on my Insta, my Insta, my my different apps I have, including uh, uh, the f uh, food shopping. I have a number of stores I can actually food uh, shop online at. Using the uh, using the uh, cards, and if you play, if you use all the discounts that you get with it, and you get these coupons and so on and so forth, uh, you can actually end up saving a lot of money. So uh, it, it it ends up and actually it ends up being cheaper than if you went shopping yourself. So uh, I do that. I I, gotta, I I don't have a lot of money to spend when I go shopping, so I do have to be careful of how I sort of uh, meter out my income. So. Oh, oh! I think that's where things are right now. It also, uh, December first, I do. Uh, I'm going to be uh, fasting uh, in terms of uh, a meditation till the uh, fasting meditation begins on December first as well. Mm. But it looks like for the next couple of days, anyways, it's going to be up and down. I'm going to be in this oscillating mode where, and this is what, what I realized looking at looking back. Every time I ate, it made me sick. Within 20 minutes, I'm not feeling well. And the amount of energy that it takes to digest food uh, puts me into sort of a, like a food coma, where you need to go, back, you need to sleep. You, your eyes can't open. You're feeling simply exhausted because the the energy to digest the food is being is is at such a level that it simply sucks all the energy out of your body and you've got nothing left to uh, sort of uh, uh, push your way through uh, push your way through uh, staying awake and it sort of slurs your vo slurs your speech uh, you don't pronounce things properly it, it, the 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 thoughts get somewhat jumbled. They're all right in my mind, but when it come out, comes to sort of saying them out loud, that's when they get kind of jumbled up. So, uh, anyways, uh, I think I'm going to leave this here for now, and I'll see you in the next transition. Well, it's 23:51, and 23 hours and 51 minutes into the 26th day of November. We're out here doing the. The observation vlog. We did some observation tonight. We had one train come by during the observation vlog. So you can go and hear the horn from there. But it is freezing cold out here. It's about, uh, about 27, 26, 27 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. This whole system is large enough. It's going all the way down. It's from the Arctic all the way down to the tip, the northern tip of Florida. And so it, it is very cold. Uh, I was watching again. Uh, I did my YouTube stroll. I'm going to go back to the YouTube stroll uh, in a few minutes. Um, and Carly's having a hard time. She's she having a hard time doing her vlogs. And it's just what happens is that. Uh, just like her mother, her mother is going in through basically a, a, a sort of a transition crisis and what to do next in her life. But she needs Carly because if you look at the vlog carefully enough, you'll see that whenever, whenever she's in the vlogs by herself, 
the views go down. When, when Carly's in the vlog, the views go up. So at least Carly's putting an effort to be in the vlogs on a more regular basis, just the way just the way she was when the whole Our Family Nest started, began. Anyway, when Our, our Family Nest began, it was primarily uh, her mother, Candy, and uh, Carly. Those were the two primaries in the vlog. Everyone else sort of was sort of milling about doing their thing, but the primaries in the vlog were basically uh, Candy, the mother, and, and, and Carly. And so this is how Carly built up enough sort of rapport and enough popularity that she was able to break, branch off into her own channel. But now she's sort of going through some crises, typically the teen stuff, particularly when, you, when you're finishing your senior year, that is conflicting with her, well, job as, as a YouTuber. And unfortunately, what she doesn't understand, but, but it's going to have a hard time, she's going to have a hard time with it, is that YouTube will follow her, follow her for the rest of her life. At this point in time, there is no other choice than YouTube. You can sort of build everything else into YouTube, but YouTube is the primary thing. And she's going to have a hard time adjusting to this particular thing. As long as she's producing one video a week, that's good enough. Because she's in the videos, she's in the vlogs uh, of Our Family Nest, where Allie hasn't done anything like that. She's occasionally in the Yowie vlogs. Where she needs to be in there more, but you know, you look at you look at these channels. They're, they're so it, it's look it's like the a lot of people have sort of given up on YouTube. They're they're giving up because it is getting very difficult. But this is what typically happens. This is where you have a lot of people being washed out of the, out of the business. And you have that in the, in, the, in the beginning. Everyone's gung ho. Everyone wants to get go set up the YouTube channel. And usually within about a month or two, it's gone. And this is what this is something I was talking about, talking about in the previous vlog, uh, in our observation vlog. We talk about Yvette Carnell, and she was talking about how the black businesses, how many of the black business, black businesses fail. Well, that's typical. It's not because it's a black business; it's because business, the success rate in business is typically typically about 10 percent. You, uh, so in other words, 90%, the attrition rate, the dropout rate in terms of business is about 90%. That's your average. And that's what you, you see in the black community of black businesses. And, you know, business is difficult. It's not easy. Uh, but when you have an audience there, like the YouTube audience that the, uh, Carly has, it's, it's kind of going to be a missed opportunity. It's kind of like uh, I view this in many ways, like the younger Greeks that I grew up with, some, some of the Syrians do. Uh, their parents did very well with these massive, not really massive restaurants, they became massive restaurants. Well, we're going to get a train. But they weren't massive in the sense that they were very fancy. They're basically holes in the wall that serve food. The food, in terms of the prices, was aimed at basically your working class people, people who had regular jobs. So the prices weren't low. The, the food quality was basically what you cooked at home. And that was about it. But these places, because people wanted good home, home cooked food, they were tired of fast food. These places filled up. So, but when the kids took over, they wanted something more fancy. They didn't want to be like their parents. And so they turned these places into places that literally had lineups around the block. They took it, turned it into these fancy cafes with these tiny little dishes, well, tiny amount of food. In, in big dishes. This is the called the Nouvelle Cuisine. You'll see this in all of the restaurant shows and all your most of your stuff on Food Channel. It's these tiny portions of food on these massive white plates. Uh, this is the opposite of what the Greeks said. The Greeks had, and then the Syrians do as, rest, uh, as the restaurants. This includes the Armenians. Go into an Armenian restaurant, go into a Greek restaurant, and you would get a small plate, well, a good-sized plate, and it'd be filled with food. 
and it'd be how it would be like ten percent of the price of the shishi of these high end shishi places. And the thing is that they had lineups around the block. They they couldn't they they, they almost oper- operated twenty four seven because of the number of the amount of demand they had. As soon as the the children the, the, the turned this into uh, these high end diners, something more exquisite. Uh, within uh, a month, the whole restaurant had closed down, and they were gone. This is the nature of things. People who build things from start, from scratch, understand how to run it. The ones who don't, who have sort of inherit things, don't understand them. But I said this is not necessarily Carly's issue. Carly's issue is the whole standard uh, senior high school senior issue of moving on into life. And it's hard to go through that. It's kind of like a midlife, midlife crisis where you're ruled more by emotion than you are logic. Let's see what the train is going to do. It was at, it was, it was at the uh, westbound waveguide. Now it's at the east, eastern waveguide. So what we get. the road. So it's another eastbound train. So that's interesting. So that is, uh, but then I, there might be another train there that's actually going westbound too. I can't tell I can't tell whether it is or isn't. Yeah, so I say watching uh, Carly go through her midlife crisis, and uh, I hope she pulls out of it. I hope that things go well for her. Uh, Allie, I think Allie's going to doing the sort of the same thing, trying to. She's finishing high school. Well, she finished high school. Now she's going to sort of figure out what she's going to what she's going to do for her life. The whole Disney thing, as being a Disney princess, uh, you know, one of the cast members at Disney has fallen through. <clears throat> and she tried doing the uh, uh, the vlogging thing at Disney, and it was good. But the question is, how often how often is she going to keep this up? And I think that she should be peer, like like Carly is. Carly is in with 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 back with her mother again in the main vlog. So Carly really doesn't have to continue on in terms of her own channel, but she is. She's doing once a week, which is good. Uh, Allie isn't doing anything like that. Allie is simply. Uh, she's dropped more or less dropped her. She didn't, hasn't posted in three months on her channel, and <clears throat> she occasionally appears in her parents' video. She needs to sort of <clears throat> push forward a little bit more. But anyways, <clears throat> I think that's going to be it for tonight. It's about ten minutes, and I will see you inside. I'm going to continue on with the. Uh, uh, the YouTube stroll. Uh, it's time because the uh, winter season is here, December first. Christmas is coming very soon. That's when I start reorganizing my notes and the new the new cords I needed to do that to sort of put more memory on my tablets uh, is here. They're in. They're working, so I can actually put in a larger. <coughs> I can put in a larger size of RAM. In order to uh, uh, USB USB flash drive, in order to pump up the amount of memory on the uh, tablet, so that means my notebooks can expand greatly uh, in terms of the size, and so I now have a, a means uh, of 
of organizing everything. So, uh, see you on the inside. We are Cyborg Alpha, Infinite Tween in Middle School for Life.